Welcome to this video lecture series on antenna and wave propagation. In this video, we will discuss the next fundamental parameter of the antenna that is directivity. Directivity is one of the most important fundamental parameter of the antenna and we will see various definitions of directivity then we will find out the relation of directivity with the beam area. We have discussed beam area and radiation intensity in our previous videos. If you have not seen those videos, go back to those videos, see those videos, then come back to this video. I have provided the link in the description, just click on the link and see those videos. So, we will proceed with the definitions of directivity. Directivity is defined in the terms of radiation intensity. We can see that the directivity is defined as the ratio of radiation intensity of an antenna in a given direction to the radiation intensity averaged in all the directions. So, I can say that directivity is radiation intensity. I used to represent radiation intensity with U. So, U in the given direction and divided by U averaged over all the direction. So, if I represent U naught as the U averaged over all the direction, I can say that D is equal to U upon U naught where U is the radiation intensity in any direction. So, for the next definition, we are taking the average radiation intensity to be power divided by 4 pi. So, average radiation intensity is changed by P red upon 4 pi. So, we derived this formula for the isotropic antenna in the previous video. So, in an isotropic antenna, the radiation intensity is given by radiated power divided by 4 pi. As I know that the radiation intensity is the power radiated per unit solid angle and for an isotropic antenna, the solid angle is 4 pi. So, the radiation intensity of an isotropic antenna is given by P red upon 4 pi. So, changing the U average that is average radiation intensity in this formula, I get U upon P radiation upon 4 pi that is 4 pi U upon P radiation. So, I can say that in second definition of directivity, average radiation intensity is changed by power radiated divided by 4 pi which is the radiation intensity of an isotropic antenna. So, the third definition is when the direction in which the directivity is to be computed is not defined. In that case, I take the direction in which the maximum radiations are going to be the direction in which the directivity is to be fine. So, when direction is not specified, direction of maxima is taken and directivity is found out in the maxima direction. So, I do not need to find out the directivity in every point. I can find out the directivity at the maxima only. So, D max is the maximum directivity which is represented by D naught which is equal to maximum radiation intensity divided by average radiation intensity. So, I can change the average radiation intensity as specified previously by P red upon 4 pi. So, the formula came out to be 4 pi U max upon P red. Now, we have used various symbols here. P red is the radiated power which is equal to the integration of radiation intensity over the total beam area. So, I can represent the beam area with the formula sin theta d theta d phi. So, integration of u over sin theta d theta d phi where, where theta is changing from 0 to pi and phi is changing from 0 to 2 pi. So, P represents radiated power. I found out the formula to, to find out P and D naught represents maximum directivity. U naught represents average radiation intensity. Now, I will see the relation between directivity and beam area. My radiation intensity to be K naught into F theta comma phi where F theta comma phi is a function in theta and phi. 
and k not represents any constant so i saw that the maximum directivity is given by u max into 4 pi upon p red so i i wrote d not as 4 pi into u max upon p red now u max represents the maximum radiation intensity so u max is when the k not is constant but when f is at maximum value so when the function gives me the maximum value i will get u max now i will see the radiated power i see the radiated power is integration of u over beam area so integrating u over sin theta d theta d phi i will get the radiated power my integrations are theta is 0 to pi and phi is 0 to 2 pi now replacing the value of u I supposed u is equal to k naught f theta comma phi. Now replacing u with k naught f theta comma phi, putting the value of rest of the parameters same sin theta d theta d phi. Now k naught is constant. Taking out k naught from the integration, I get k naught integration of f theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. Theta is changing from 0 to pi and phi is changing from 0 to 2 pi. Now putting this value and this value in this formula, now 4 pi into u max. u max was k naught f max theta comma phi. Putting k naught f max theta comma phi and upon p red. p red is k naught integration of f theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi k naught integration of f theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. Now k naught got cancelled and I got 4 pi f max upon integration of f theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. Now f max is also a constant value taking it below and taking it inside the integration I get this formula which is equal to 4 pi upon double integration of f theta comma phi upon f max theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi. Now f theta comma phi upon f max theta comma phi can be written as k naught multiplied by f theta comma phi upon k naught multiplied by f max theta comma phi. I have just multiplied k naught. So what happens k naught into f theta comma phi is u theta comma phi and k naught into f max theta comma phi is u max theta comma phi. So I know that u theta comma phi upon u max theta comma phi gives me normalized power. So changing this value by the normalized power, I get that the formula for the directivity. So d naught is equal to 4 pi upon double integration of normalized power integrated over the solid angle. Solid angle is sin theta d theta d phi. So I know that from the previous video, I hope you have seen those videos and I hope you know now that the double integration of p n theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi gives me the beam area. So the directivity is equal to 4 pi upon beam area. Now I will see the formula for approximate expression of directivity. Now I have derived the formula for directivity which is 4 pi upon beam area. I know that beam area can be represented in terms of half power. So the beam area can be represented as half power in theta direction multiplied by half power in phi direction. So the beam area is theta half power into phi half power. Now all these are in T radians. So d naught can be represented as 4 pi upon theta into phi half power. But I know that 4 pi T radian is equal to 41253 square degree. So changing it in degree, I will get d naught is equal to 41253 square degree upon theta half power into phi half power. Now when I need to convert the directivity into decibel, I use this formula that is 10 log 10 into d. So this was it for this video. We will see the other fundamental parameters of the antenna in the upcoming videos. Stay tuned for that videos. Keep revising. I hope you like my video. Like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.